So we distinguish between bad and good. We know that distinction with room for a little interpretation. Uh, bad food versus good food, good movie versus bad movie, and the like. But what is evil? Evil is the opposite of good. But so is bad. How can you have two opposites for good? Bad and evil are two different degrees of the same concept? Are they? Well, yeah. Like, in the movies, we have the good guy, the main character, and the bad guy, the evil one against him. But not every character is a good guy or girl, correct? So does that mean good and bad are a matter of perspective? Yeah, but it's not up to perspective, though, because otherwise, why would people be against murder or abuse? It's about how it makes you feel, you know? That's where it comes from. It's why normal people in society agree on common laws. Good feels right, bad feels wrong. Maybe, but if you think about it in a religious sense, that can't be true. Denying yourself earthly comforts is what it's all about. You quest for spiritual goodness and purity, but the physical feelings must feel anything but good. But not all religions practice the concept of abstinence and punishment. By your theory, you're saying you're good and then damning all the rest, and then it's not a universal truth anymore. If God didn't make good and bad, who did? Humans. It was needed to create an ordered civilization. Religion is a tool of that. You don't see animals observing the concepts of good and bad. Animals don't worship God, so how could they know? So, back to my question. What is evil, and is it related to bad? It is related. You have to be bad before you can be evil. There's no such thing as a good, evil person. It's like a more intense form of badness. That's wrong. This is a philosophy class. Nothing can be wrong. That is. And what's your theory? Good and bad are related. Evil has nothing to do with them. You can be good and still be evil. Why do you say that? Because good and bad are universal. God didn't make them. Nothing made them. They just are. Like life. But evil is invented. How does that even make sense? What you're saying is- Let him finish, people. Good and bad exist because life exists. And animals follow it to the letter. People, not so much. An animal eats to survive. It has sex to procreate. And that's good. It furthers life. It takes care of itself. It avoids what hurts it. It avoids what makes it sick. It avoids predators. That's bad. What will end its life? Now, why does it do this? Because it learned it in school? Because God taught it? No. Because it lives and is. And that's its biological makeup because that makes the most sense in life. I mean, the most basic want of life is the want to live. Otherwise, what would be the point? Animals get it. I mean, they get it unconsciously or maybe even consciously because their minds aren't cluttered by falsities like getting a job, owning a house, paying off student loans. Humans have forgotten this. You routinely engage in the bad. You smoke. You do drugs, you drink and drive. You let stress and made up rules guide your lives while they simultaneously shorten them. These things have become normal. You willfully blind yourselves and focus on something conjured. You invented your cages, made them to shorten your life and you get enjoyment from this. And to distract yourselves, you focus on evil, an invented concept. Animals fight for territory. Animals kill. Why are they not evil? We're more advanced, you'll say. We've moved beyond that. Untrue. You are the same. You just hide behind your cages, bars to seem normal. When in fact, the only people who show their trueness are those evil men that the rest despise. Now, strangely, Normal people only show their real selves when destroying those who are evil, betraying the crumbling wall that normalcy truly is. I can see right through it. I can see through you. Evil is a false label. If you are bothered by these men, then remove them. But remove them without the pretext of safeguarding the good. You are not. Those men understand themselves. 
They understand that the goal is to live. That is why they dominate wolves among sheep. They are good. They do what it takes to survive, to be the predator at the top of the chain. They don't hide from their nature, but you do. So you label them outsiders. You label them evil when every one of you would do what they did if the roles were reversed. Normal is bad. It goes against your biological makeup. It ends life more quickly. It takes control away from you. You've all lost your way and forgotten your purpose. You don't live for life. You exist for falsities governed by a cage of words. What is evil? It's a window to your most basic. Normal is the shutter that you close because you are too afraid to look. <clears throat> Interesting opinion, Callum. I know words won't change your mind, so I'll prove it to you another way. Now, hold on. Sit down, John. All of you, cell phones on the table. Think about this, what you're doing. You're a smart kid. Don't throw your life. <gasps> John, you're not a part of this, so stop interfering. Please, sit quietly, because I really need a witness. Witness to what? I mean to prove what I said today. And when this is over and done, who's to say that they'll tell the truth? Their fear and shame will make telling such a small lie an easy thing. But you're the catch. You'll be there to see the truth. You'll be there to know. And that makes whatever they say inconsequential, because you cannot teach a lie. From this point forward, you will know the truth and you will teach it, consciously or not. Even if you choose to lie about what happened here today, you'll know. And it will affect students for years to come. So who will it be? You want us to choose? Well, not me, that defeats the purpose. What are you talking about? Noah, what does he mean? He wants to know who goes first. Who goes? First and only. I only want one. What do you mean, one? Who? That's your choice, Ashley. Her choice? All of yours. What are you, Jigsaw? This isn't some fucking game. No, it's an experiment, a test of a theory. I only need one, and all of you need to choose. Why can't you just leave us alone? Stop it, Carrie. The odds are in your favor, percentages and all. Only one needs to go, and that's the point. You all will be just as responsible as me. But you're forcing us. Untrue. You don't have to listen to me. You can try to leave. You can refuse to participate. You'll, of course, be ruining your chances, including John's, but that will have been your choice, just as this is. But I know that you won't. I will prove to you, survival trumps all, 
survival is good, and sometimes you have to be evil to pursue good. What if we can't decide? You have until the end of class to give me your choices. No ties, no indecision. Someone must be chosen. If class ends and I don't have a name, none of you make it out. Well, that's my introduction. The stage is yours. God, it's early. do it. Do what? We could take him down. Together. He has a gun, Eddie. So what? There's five of us and only one of him, all right? He can't take us all out. I've got something, too. This. You're going to get close enough to use that? We need a distraction. John can distract him. And I can get in there. Slice his arm, make him drop the gun. Fucker. How exactly are we supposed to tell John your plan? We can signal him, like a, a sign, a hand gesture or something. You saw what happened when John tried to argue. What'll happen to us if we try to get John's attention and Calum sees? A sign? I mean, what, what's the signal for, hey, John, would you kindly okay, distract Okay, fine. All right, leave John out of it. Four on one is still enough. One of you needs to distract. It's too much. It's too risky. Shut up, Gary. He could get four shots off before we get anywhere near him. Are you guys seriously that scared of him? He's a loser, all right? You've seen him all semester, he's nothing. He comes in late, he doodles in his notebook. He's scrawny, all right? He probably doesn't even know how to use that thing. If you want to try and take him, you go right ahead. When he shoots you, the rest of us can get out of here. Fuck you. Then stop trying to be such a hero. Look, I'd rather take my chances than let him decide to kill me, all right? I'm not going out like that. Why? You're dead either way. He... He said that we need to choose. So shouldn't we just choose? Isn't it worth just one if it saves the rest of us? Yeah. That one could be you. Oh, you're such an asshole. How do you shift some of that attitude Callum's way, all right? He is the reason we're all sitting around waiting to die. Then why hasn't he done it yet? Because of this, all right? This whole situation. He's a sick fuck who likes games. Or he's telling the truth. And how do we prove that? We choose. We've decided. So quickly? Yes. And you all agree? Yes. It cannot be John. You know that he is the witness. It's not John. Tell me. You. Me? You. And you all agree? Yes. You. You. You, motherfucker. Me. This is insane. This is... No one has to die. Callum, put it down. Put the gun down. We can all walk out of here. We... We can, we can all go home. You never said that you were off limits. Sometimes a true scientist will test on himself. Prove your theory. I never said that I was off limits.
That would have been too simple. After my explanation, outlining all of my points, and you thought to undo it just like... You didn't listen to what I said. Survival is the ultimate good. How can I possibly prove that if I off myself in front of everyone? It'd be against my nature, yours, anyone's, hypocritical. I never said I was off limits, but I hold the power. And one word won't take it away. It was a good try, but I set the rules. So follow them. You made us all look like idiots. It was worth a shot. He really thought he was dumb enough to just blast himself after that whole speech. He could have just done that at home then. This fits his theory, but he has the power. He has no reason to listen to us. It failed, but... <laughs> We learned something. And what's that? We have to take the power back. Really? <sighs> wow, that, that's deep shit, Noah. No, really, I had no idea. Tell me something else I don't know. How many fingers am I holding up? We're running out of time. Why don't we just do what he says? You really want that on your conscience, Carrie? I could deal with it. Are you serious? I don't want to but I could if I had to. Just like that. I could. I like you, you guys, but... I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No, not to you, not to anyone. Yeah, clearly you just want to talk him to death. I'm trying to find another way. There is no other way. There is. We just have to find a way to turn the tables. We can't. We are wasting time debating. We have less than half the class left. I could do it. I could make a choice. I will make a choice. We, we can't just... I could do two. I can't go through with this. Of course you'd let one of us take a bullet to get your ass out of here, but you won't risk it to take him down. We could all get out that way too. I'm not letting you do anything for me. I'm just... You're just saying that you're cool with one of us dying for you. That's what you're saying. That's it. We need a different approach. We have to tell him we can't choose. What? No, he'll shoot us all. He told us the rules. He explained it. These are our lives. This is us. We only get this one. Don't you want to keep it? All of us to keep it? When I was 12, my dad got hit by a drunk driver. He died. I mean, the drunk was okay. He only had one life and he got to keep it. Not my dad. It never works out the way you want it to. This is different. We have a choice. Yeah, we do. But it is not gonna save all of us. You don't know that. Why are you so sure that the worst will happen? He has a gun. The gun is just a tool. We need to see the bigger picture. We need to go on the offensive. <gasps> Well, now who's acting the tough guy? It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we win by breaking his idea, not by attacking him directly. God damn it, Noah. This isn't some war room battle strategy. You don't always have to be the smartest person in the room. You said I only have one life, and you're right. I want to fucking keep it. J just trust me on this one. This one more time. He won't kill us. He's not eager to. He wants us to do it his way, so he'll keep giving us chances until, until time runs out. He thinks he's a scientist. And every scientist looks for someone to disprove their theory. And they love it when people are wrong because that puts them one step closer to being right. He won't kill us. We have time. We have to try. No one wants my way? Fine. But I'm not rolling over for Callum. I'm in. We shouldn't. I'm not rolling over for you either. You do this, or I'm picking you. And I bet Noah will too. Those aren't great odds, Ash. Fine. 
پایین Another subversive attempt, Noah? We don't pick anyone. You don't pick anyone? Nope. So what now, dick? Well, you broke the rules. Cal, no! Enough, John. You better be ready to use that thing. Fuck. Carrie, did you not pick anyone? Oh my god, it wasn't me. Carrie. <laughs> what about you, Ashley? We didn't choose. None of us. You really? You. Oh, good plan. Good, good plan. What? Shut up! You. You're such a hero. You gonna do it? Huh? You gonna shoot me? You gonna make good? I don't have to. Three minutes left. Remember what we said. Prove him wrong. He's going to do it, Noah. We, we have to. We just have to. Use your head. Don't panic. He's trying to look like he's in control, but he's losing. See it. So many variables. Who can be sure? Don't listen. We're going to get out of here. Two minutes, home stretch. <laughs> I hope to do it. it together. Just endeavor, yes, endeavor it does. <laughs> this is your fault. What? This is your fault. You did this. You pushed him. I, I we had a shot before his guard was I down. Did. We did. You made us listen to you. Now it's over. I'm not going down, all right? I'm not. This is your fault. What's wrong with you? I'm not at fault. He's at fault. He has the gun. He caused this. You provoked him. Your plan, it didn't work. The first one, this one won't work either. It's I'm just, not it's too bad, much. guys. It's just too much. One minute. <laughs> Noah! I pick him. It's Noah. Fantastic. And not a minute too soon. Thank you, Ashley. Not the first person I expected, but variables. One choice, one minute left. What are the odds? Noah. The last variable. What about you, hero? No. <sighs> you all had me pretty nervous. Jesus, Jesus, Cal. Enough, John. Noah, what do you say? What do I say? I, I would have, I haven't given up. I, I would have found, figured something out. I don't choose. You don't choose? No. No one. How extraneous. Luckily, I have a consensus anyways. You see that, John? Oh, Jesus, I... I'm sorry. The rest of you. Well, no speeches. 
Nothing like that. Come on up here, Noah. Front or back, Noah? 